What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back again with another banging video. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, in today's video, we are going to be talking about some changes coming to Vader. No, I'm not selling the car. No, I'm not getting rid of the car. No, I'm not scrapping the build. No, I'm not, like, taking everything off and restarting and none of that. Let's go ahead and roll that intro, and we'll get straight into this banger. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this intro. Uh, shout out to my boy, Alex. We made this happen, I wanna say two Sundays ago, and this is the finished product. Y'all let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. This this joint right here, this joint fly. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Smash that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let's get it. So, so, what y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all think? We liking it. We rocking with it. Y'all want me to keep the old joint. Matter of fact, for those of you who may be new clicking onto this video, I'm going to go ahead and run the old joint. And then y'all let me know in the comment section down below which one y'all like better, the new one or the old one. So let's go ahead and run that old one. Yeah. What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we really like that. You feel me? We really like that. So y'all let me know down in the comment section down below which intro do y'all prefer more. I also have new outros as well, so we're gonna be throwing that in the video as well. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about the outro and the intro. Should we stick? with the old outro and intro, or should we go ahead and rock with the new one? But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. Let's get it. <sighs> oh my, how dirty it is, man. But here we are, my 2021 Camaro SS1LE, big stepper Vader. We have a LT2 intake manifold, LT1 stock throttle body, both are ported. The throttle body has been ported out to a 95 millimeter. Then we have the Rotofab dry filter coder intake. We have the speed engineering. Let me cut this flash on. We got the speed engineering inch and seven eighth catless long tube headers peeking down there, supported with the MSD spark plug wires. Then we also have a E85 flex fuel kit sourced through Wild Hammer Motorsports. You can kind of see it peeking back there. No, I did not do this cutting of the plastic in the firewall. That was the previous owner. I'm assuming they were running a Holly high ram intake manifold set up on this car with the Cooks long tube headers. Because if you look right here, these are the cats that came with my car. And as y'all can see right there, it says Cooks. So... I'm pretty sure this guy was running Cook's long tube headers with a Holly high ram setup. He was not running E85 though. I know because when we went to go pin in the E85 flex fuel sensor from Wild Hammer Motorsports, like I said, if you're interested, by the way, in shopping or getting anything for your Camaro or your GM product, go tap in with my boys over at Wild Hammer Motorsports. Use promo code JIWild to save yourself some money at checkout. But anyway, when we were going ahead and pinning into the car's computer for the E85 flex fuel sensor, we noticed that it hadn't been done before. You'd be able to tell because you literally have to remove the pin from the harness and splice in the new one. So you'd be able to tell, but we did not see that. So he was for sure still running on 93, um, no E85. But yeah, man, um, this is the car, man. Okay. We are running the 160 degree thermostat from Summit Performance. This car actually runs pretty cool, um, but you know, it is what it is. 
it's gonna get hot. I do live in Texas. So hot lap in the car is never good regardless. Now you may be wondering, J.I., what do you mean by you're switching up or you're, you're going a different route or what, like what's, what's really going on if you said you're not getting rid of none of the parts and maybe what you're asking yourself right now. So I'm gonna just show you. Don't mind my ceiling. Um, Y'all already know what happened for the new people who didn't. Um, pipe ended up busting in the ceiling and it literally destroyed the entire garage. Water was leaking everywhere. All of this stuff that you see was covered in water and all of this is trash now. So anyway, um, yeah, that's why the ceiling looks like that. But I will be switching tuners. That is the big, like, news. That's the big next step for Vader. Um, not gonna lie. I really didn't want to, um, but it's just a lot of things that, you know, happened and took place that led me to make this decision. Um, at the end of the day, man, you guys know me. Y'all know my goal is just to build these cars for the max potential, you know what I'm saying? My goal is to get these cars to a place that, you know, I've never been. And that's the whole point in life is just, you know, progression, getting better each and every day, being a better you than you were yesterday. That's my biggest goal. That's what I strive to do is just to be a better J.I. than I was yesterday. And so with that being said, you know, I, I strive for progression. And so when things become stagnant, you know, you got to make changes. You got to do something different to, you know what I'm saying, see that growth, you know? And so sometimes in life, you feel me, when you keep trying and trying and trying and you keep getting the same outcome and you don't reach whatever goal it is that you're trying to get, you know, something got to change. You got to change something. You can't expect to get a different outcome or a different result, but you're still doing the same method to get that result. Ain't nothing gonna change. You gotta change something. The results are gonna be the same every single time. Now that being said, man, you know, huge shout out to the guys. I love them to death, no bap. Literally countless hours on the phone trying to get things figured out with the car. And ultimately we just weren't able to. So that being said, like, that's literally why I'm switching tuners and going a different route. Just because at the end of the day, this is my daily driver. This is my content creation. This is the main source of my content, whether it be on here, whether it be on TikTok, whether it be on YouTube, whether it be on Facebook, which I really don't even be on for real. It's just connected to my Instagram. So some of my reels get posted on Facebook as well. Um, at the end of the day, it's all revolves around Vader. So I have to have this car running in tip top shape 100% of the time. I can't afford to take no downtime with this car. I can't afford to have no issues with this car for real. And you know, at the end of the day, when building a car and modifying cars, you're gonna have issues. We all know this. You know, if you've been in the game long enough, you're gonna know this. And if you're new to the game, hey, let me be the first to tell you. It's not all rainbows and grum drops, you feel me? When building a car, you're gonna have hiccups, you're gonna have bumps in the road, you're gonna have them long nights where you got bloody knuckles and, 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 and real frustrated because you can't get an install completed because of this one boat that won't come out or this one strip boat or, or it's, it's countless things or, or your, your tuning computer decides to take a crap on you and then you know in retaliation, and it being three o'clock in the morning, you super frustrated because you see that what you thought was wrong with your car, you actually seeing it is actually in, you know what I'm saying, on a computer and you're seeing it, that something's wrong with the car. And you've been telling these people that something's wrong with the car and they keep telling you, nah, it's cool. It's not the tune. Nothing's wrong with the tune. Didn't even want to look at it. Like that's, that's my biggest thing. So, you know what I'm saying? Look, like it's, it, the proof is in the pudding right here. This was my tuning computer. You feel me? This this was my tuning computer. As you can see, frustrations clearly got the better of me. Um, and I ended up smashing the shit out of it.
I'm not gonna lie, I'm not too proud of myself for that, um, but now I need to get a new tuning computer so that I can go ahead and send over a log to the new tuner and get the new tune on the car. At the end of the day, every action has a reaction. I should have never spazzed out on the computer because I know I still need it, but at the end of the day, the frustrations just got the best of me, man. I'm human. It is what it is. I'm human. Um, I've been dealing with this for literally like two, maybe three months now, and I've literally done everything under the sun possible. As you guys may or may not know, I am a technician at Chevy. I work for a Chevy dealership. So I have literally done everything mechanically wise to this car to try to fix this issue and I'm still having the same issue. I've talked to every electrical tech at the dealership, every single one, ran by the scenario to them, told them what's going on, all the way from the jump when I first got this code with the first tune. Um, and literally they all say the same thing. It's gotta be the tune. It sounds like it's the tune. I've replaced the actuator. I've replaced the connector. I've replaced the harness. I've replaced everything. I've done relearns with the GM computer. I've done resets with the GM computer. I've manually opened up the valve with the GM computer. I've manually closed the valve with the GM computer. Every single thing possible. I checked fuses, I checked connections, I did everything, and I'm still having the same issue. So, therefore, that's why I come to this conclusion. It has to be the tune. It is what it is. After racing that boy Frankie and seeing how my car is as of right now, yeah, bro, I got to make some shake. It's that simple. You guys already know I want to go out to Dallas for Texas 2K and really put this car on the map for real, for real. Um, and I can't do that with the car driving how it's driving right now. I solely can't. There's no way in hell a 10-speed, full Boton Camaro should lose to a eight, a six-speed, four-door sedan Chevy SS. It's no way, bro. It's no way. Spinning, power laws, whatever you, it's no way like, it should be getting gapped. There's no way. Legit. So that being said, bro, that's why I'm making this move. That's why I'm making this switch. I'm literally speaking of moves. I'm literally in between moves right now. We already got the new crib, got the new JIHQ and all of that. So we're literally in the move. <laughs> all week we're going to be taking care of moving everything from this house over to that house and you guys will see the new jihq as well um i'm actually going to be putting some flags up um have a couch in there and it's going to be a whole little vibe like a nice little setup we're going to be there for the next 15 months of our lives man so i'm, I'm about to turn it up we're going we're going for real for real go crazy with that garage i'll go see some installs in that garage um and just a whole lot of more like content coming from the JIHQ. You feel me? I know like I've moved every single year. I've had a garage for the last three years. Um, and I have never decorated my garage and I barely do uploads in my garages. And it's really because of the lighting in the garages are never really that good. Um, this one, granted, was pretty good, but with the ceiling looking like how it looks, I really just don't like it um, as far as vlogging goes. But that explains that. But yeah, man, once we get settled in in the new crib, then I'm going to go ahead and get this tuning computer, get the new tune on the car, and we'll start going to the eighth mile track out here. Unfortunately, we no longer have a quarter mile, so we're not going to be able to see what Vader does in the quarter, like on an actual prepped track, but... I will be grabbing a draggy and a GoPro, so we'll be able to see these quarter mile times on the draggy, 6130 times, um, zero to 60 times. All of that pops up on the draggy. The P3 gauge does pick up all of that, but you gotta set it up when you're going and then you go. The draggy kind of just does it all in one lap. So I am gonna be picking up a draggy. Um, so yeah, man, y'all just stay tuned. Content's about to get crazy. I'm in the middle of a move. Once I get this move situated, get my family situated in a new crib, we're going we gonna to turn it up. We're going to turn it all the way up. 2024, y'all already know. We coming we coming straight out the gate with bangers. Straight out the gate. No bad. Y'all know we got the cam. We just got to get the kit for the cam. And then we also got to get the 103 throttle body and um, the nitrous kit. 
and the car will be ready for 2K. Once we get all that stuff, hopefully, I want to say late January, early February, we get all those parts in, send the car off to my boy Manny, have that boy slap the parts on the car, then send over a file to the tuner, have him send a new tune in, and go hurt some feelings. So with all that being said, man, like I said, I love them boys to death, but this is business. Business is business, man. And at the end of the day, I got to make the moves that's best for me and best for you guys. So that's all I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to continue to do. That's what I've been doing. And uh, I'm not going to stop. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I got to put you guys first. I got to put myself first as well. So I can't deprive y'all of the content that y'all should be getting. I can't deprive myself of having a car, you know, make as much power as it's supposed to. You feel me? I can't be depriving myself of that. I need that. You know what I'm saying? I need all that power. No doubt. Also, before I go, y'all let me know. These joints right here, bro. I've been sitting on these smoked reflectors for maybe two years now. Legit. This was one of the first things that I got from Wild Hammer Motorsports for this car. And I've just never installed them. Because the install is a little tricky. I ain't going to lie. You really got to remove the diffuser um, or remove your exhaust. So that's why I haven't done the install. Also, if you guys look back here, as y'all know, we have the red in the one for the one LE. We have the red plate and then we have the red on all my tags. So y'all know we got that red theme accent kind of going through the entire car. So that's why I left them. But the smoke also flows better with the tail lights and the third brake light. So I don't know, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below, smoked or red? Y'all let me know. I, I, I really honestly don't know. That's why they haven't been installed yet. But without further ado, guys, um, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's vlog. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Also, if you're excited for the changes to come with Vader, please give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about the new intro and the new outro. I'm actually about to go ahead and run that new outro now. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Let me see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>